Hey, what is going on guys? This is Overlord Kratos here, and today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to use the Quick sh yeah, quick Shot plugin. Um, I just recently learned about this one. It's pretty fascinating. I do like it. There's a lot to know about it. So, the main command is uh, slash QS, and what that allows you to do, it just shows you the, um, like the help commands that you could use. So, the first one I want to go to is just make something unlimited. So, what you have to do... I've tried doing this in creative mode and you can't because you'll break the chest if you do it. So what you do is you click on the chest, the left click on the chest, and it'll tell you how much do you want to enter. So you got to like find the current amount of money you want to sell it for. So I'm just going to put one. So now it's selling zero ingots for one. So the first thing I want to show you guys is unlimited. So what you guys do is you look at the chest and you type in QS unlimited. Should have should have uh, made that chest unlimited there. Um, but yeah, with this here. Right, I'm pretty sure that works. I don't have to worry about putting anything in there. So if I were to left click on it and I would type in 64. Yeah. So that's what you guys got to do is you got to click on it and it'll bring up the, the price of it. And then you would just have to type in QS unlimited and press enter and it would automatically make it unlimited. So with that, you don't have to worry about stocking it up, doing whatever. Um... It's easy if you want to maintain a good server. You don't want to have to refill it every so often. But for this here, you have actually you have buying and selling. And this is to actually sell a certain amount and buy a certain amount. So whatever you have in the chest here, I can go... I'm just going to say 200. <clears throat> and it's going to take three slots out and a little bit of this one. So this has an inventory. And once the inventory is gone, you can't buy anymore. But as for buying, I can type 200 and it will throw these in here. So with that, you could either have someone buy it, like you can have someone sell it to it as if a merchant is buying it or so a merchant is selling you diamonds and you're paying for them. So with that, those are like the three main things you want to know. Um, with this, you can also change the price as you like. As, if you don't like it, you can just click on it and do QS price, and I can bring it down to four if I don't like it. And it changes the amount that you have there, so it brings it down to four each. I think that's pretty awesome. Like this is it's it's a pretty cool plugin. I'm really fascinated with it. Um, so with this, if you want to clean something out that has nothing, that has no stock in it. So say for example, if I wanted to throw this in here and I said, I don't know, I'm going to just put one just to sell it for one. See, it's got nothing. It's not selling anything. So with that, all I would do is do QS clean and it would get rid of the, like get rid of the shop. So, if there's nothing left, there's nothing left. You would have to remake a shop or you would just leave it as it is. And, say for an example, um, if you're all the way over here and you want to do, you want to find a shop and you have no idea where it's at, I would do this. So, you do QS find diamond and it would point you towards the nearest block, like the nearest shop that is selling diamonds. I think that's pretty fantastic. That is like really cool. Um, what else do we have here? We have the refill. So, for example, you know, I, I'm i emptied a little bit here. I got over almost half of a, a thing emptied here. So what I would do is I would click on this and then QS refill. Oh, yeah. I'd have to actually give it an amount. So I just type 10,000 just because... And doesn't matter because when you look in here, there's a full chest. So that is that part of it. And I believe there was one more. Oh, yeah, you can empty them too. So if you wanted to empty this chest, all you would have to do is QS empty. Boom. It says empty success. Nothing's in it. So 
it's pretty much it with this. Like, this plugin is actually, like, pretty straightforward. You don't have to, uh, you know, worry about maintaining these. Normal players can't break them because of the owner. You can switch the owner, too, if you wanted to. I believe it was, like... Yeah, it was set owner. So you would go, you click on it, you'd go QS set owner, and then I would put in Overlord Kratos 91. So now the new owner, owner is Overlord Kratos. So it already popped up as it is, but apart from that, yeah, the owner would be here. It's pretty awesome. I like it. But, um, you know, I hope this really helps you guys out. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I got a couple more tutorials coming out on the way. I've been learning some new stuff. So, I'm just trying to help you guys out here. So, peace out.